Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out pineapple as a meat tenderizer. We're gonna take three sets of steaks. One, we're gonna use pineapple as the tenderizer. Another, we're gonna use salt as the tenderizer. And then on the third group, we're not gonna use anything. Then we're gonna do a taste test. For the pineapple, all that we did is we took a whole pineapple, we cut it up, took some of it, put it in the blender, blended it up for a while to get it as fine as we could. Then we poured it and scooped it over the steaks, and that was pretty much it. At the end of this, we're gonna do a blind taste test um, just to see which one we think is the most tender, which one tastes the best, and then just best overall with tenderness and taste. We've got a boneless ribeye and a filet that will have no tenderizer. I've got a filet here that I'm just using salt as the tenderizer, and then I've got another boneless ribeye and filet that I've got pineapple to use as the tenderizer. The pineapple, as well as the salt, will sit on the steaks for about an hour, and then I'll rinse them off. Once they're rinsed off, I'll then season all of the steaks the way that I like to. So we just rinsed off our pineapple covered steaks right here. And you can already see, I mean, you can tell it's tender. The meat has just opened up compared to our control group here that has nothing on it. Um, I'm really, really interested to see how this cooks and if this tastes any different. But you, you can just tell that it's, it's so much more tender. And then this is our salt right here. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, this is way more tender. And this does not feel tender at all. So we'll, we'll see. So for the taste test, we had our, our three groups. We had the steaks with the pineapple, um, a steak with salt, and then some steaks with nothing on them. So we rated the steaks in three different categories. The first category was based on tenderness, the second category was flavor, and the third category was just best overall. Yeah, so for the ribeyes, we paired those up first. We just had one ribeye that had no tenderizer, and then we had one ribeye that had the pineapple on it. Across the board, in regards to tenderness, everyone hands down agreed that the pineapple tenderized steak was the most tender of the ribeyes. Yeah, so it was, we had six people judging and it was six and oh. There was no question that the, the ribeye with the pineapple was by far um, more tender than the one without. However, not everyone preferred the more tender ribeye yep. to the ribeye without the tenderizer. So you had six and zero on tenderness, but then when you went down to flavor, which is, this is really interesting, is that um, of all the six people, nobody could tell a flavor difference at all, which I was shocked at. I thought for sure that you'd be able to say, yes, this was done with pineapple, it tastes like pineapple, and nobody or at could least distinguish. least it was tasted sweet. Yeah, right, yeah. And, and nobody could tell a difference, which was very, very surprising. So on the tenderness, it was six and zero. On um, the flavor, it was, that nobody could tell and then on the favorite it was split right down the middle three picked the one that had been tenderized um, with pineapple but that was just because they thought the tenderness was to their liking and then three picked the steaks that didn't have any tenderizer because that's the steak that was tenderized to their likeness so totally subjective but the the cool thing about it is that all six without a doubt chose um, the ribeye that had pineapple on it as the most tender now for the filet test, we had three different categories. We had the filets without any tenderizer, the one tenderized with salt, and then the one tenderized with pineapple. It was unanimous again that the filet tenderized with pineapple was the most tender. Um, and then it was also noted that the one with salt was second most tender, and then the one without anything um, was the least tender. I mean, it was still very tender. Um, but that was our order. Just because the filet with pineapple was voted most tender, that wasn't necessarily a good thing. Um, 
in my opinion, it was very mushy, and that's what a lot of people thought as well. Um, but it was definitely the most tender. But for the flavor, it was a little bit different. There was one person who chose the pineapple tenderized steak as their favorite flavor. They could taste that it was slightly sweeter than all the other ones. There were two people who chose the salt tenderized steak as their favorite. Mm -hmm. Instantly, everyone could taste that one was more salty, but those two in particular, they enjoyed the salty flavor. For the filet without tenderizer, three people chose that as their favorite flavor. And then that brings us to best overall for the filet, which were the same results as the flavor test. So we had one person pick the filet that had been tenderized with pineapple as um, best tenderness and best flavor, so best overall. We had the two people um, choose the filet that had the salt uh, they just loved the tenderness. It was right in the middle as well as the saltiness. And then you had three people that picked the filet with no tenderizer as the best tenderness and the best flavor. I still think it's really interesting that it was really hard to pick out the pineapple flavor. Nobody picked it out on the ribeye and then one person could kind of tell that the filet was slightly sweeter than the others. Now I will say, this is kind of funny, that once the test was over and we told the participants that we had used pineapple, um, then we just ate the steaks for dinner and then they all claimed that they could then taste it. So I don't know if that was mental or, or what. It was just kind of funny that in the test they couldn't taste it and then when we sat down to eat it after they had been told, uh, then they could taste the sweetness. I, I will say, as I ate more of it, I definitely could pick out that there was a different flavor in the pineapple tenderized steak. It, it was not a pineapple flavor. It was a little bit sweeter. And people kind of had the same reaction when they started eating more of the salted steak. Mm. They kind of, after a while, were like, it's kind of too salty. Too salty, yeah. So maybe next time the test portion should be a little bit bigger. Or maybe you should go back and forth a few more times because we just gave them one piece of each. Um, but it seemed, you know, to to show pretty well that pineapple by far will tenderize will tenderize the heck out of meat. Yeah. And and maybe we did it for an hour. You can adjust the time. Yeah, maybe you can adjust the, the time. time. To not get mush on the filet. Also, maybe if you were buying steaks from like Walmart or okay. something, that then it would make that filet very good. That's true. I, I don't know. Um, but it definitely did show um, that it was it works. A, it's a very, <laughs> very effective tenderizer. As a flavor, it was very good. But it still did not taste like pineapple. Yeah, didn't taste like pineapple at all. Just a little bit sweeter. That's it. Didn't taste That's like good. pineapple. Hopefully this little taste test was helpful for you in deciding if you want to try pineapple as a tenderizer. Um, we'd love to hear from you if you do it, if you agree with us, if you disagree with the results, if you think you could taste the pineapple, if you couldn't, we'd absolutely love to hear from you. And in case you're wondering who he's referring to all the time when he says we, mm. that's me. <laughs> Thanks for watching Break It Yourself. And we'll see you next time.